And tonight's Mommy Minute, setting our kids up for a successful school year means prioritizing their health, especially when it comes to sleep. Allie Lanyon reports. Sleep has a lot of critical effects for the body. It helps brain growth and development, um, which obviously for going to school is very important. It helps growth in general. It helps create a strong immune system to help protect against um, the exposure children get as they go back to school. And for that reason, UPMC pediatrician um, Dr. Glenn Kluka says parents should already be adjusting bedtimes about 15 minutes earlier each night to get them back into their school time routines. We have tons of data of all ages that when you're tired, you don't process information as well. You don't retain knowledge as well. Um, so very important, especially when your main goal is learning. So how much sleep do kids need? So generally school age kids, so kind of middle school, elementary school age kids should be getting somewhere about nine to 12 hours a day, depending on the child. Um, and teenagers, um, so 13 and up, should be getting about eight to 10 hours a day. To help establish a set routine, like a shower or bath or a book, and make that routine screen free. So screens are stimulating to our brains. Um, and can definitely interfere with the process of the body winding down and going to sleep. So for 30 to 60 minutes before bedtime, ideally you want to not have any screens, TVs, computers, um, any form of a screen use before that. Dr. Kluka also stresses the importance of vaccines as we head into a new school year. He says he's seeing an increasing number of families foregoing vaccines, which he says not only protect your child, but their classmates as well. To make sure your child is up to date, you should consult with their pediatrician. With this week's Mommy Minute, I'm Allie Lanyon.